Even though AMD Ryzen 3000 chips are backward compatible with many of the older X470 motherboards, to fully utilize some of the features, you're going to have to process one of the imminent X570 boards. With many new technologies coming to fruition, there is no better time to discuss everything the Aorus X570 has to offer and what we believe are going to be the best Aorus X570 motherboards available in the coming months. So, without further ado, here's our list of the best Aorus X570 motherboards. Aorus X570 and motherboard are finally here and we are all very excited. So, can you explain me about the Aorus X570 lineup? Absolutely. Uh, Gigabyte's uh, Aorus X570 lineup contains seven different models. You can have a look on them uh, right here. Yes. Uh, the Aorus Extreme, the Aorus Master and the Aorus ITX motherboards. Uh, they are for enthusiast users uh, who are looking to upgrade to the best peripheral components, but it's also great so it's, uh, for extreme water cooling mm -hmm. builds. Uh, they are suitable uh, for AAA gamers uh, who want to play their games on ultra settings. Uh, the Aorus Ultra and the Aorus uh, uh, Pro and Pro Wi-Fi are primarily uh, designed for gamers to dominate their, their opponents in-game uh, with a motherboard's excellent list of features. They are still suitable uh, for AAA gamers, but not for ultra settings. Uh, the Aorus Elite is an entry uh, gaming solution which still offers a great performance but with less features. Okay, so how if I am a budget gamer, which model will you recommend? Oh, I would definitely recommend you the Aorus Elite. Uh, I think it offers a great performance uh, to value ratio. Okay, thanks so for your suggestion. So, what is the main difference between the previous uh, generation mainstream and the chipset compared to X570? Okay, so X570 chipset comes with a lot of new features, but the one that really stands out is uh, the new PCIe 4.0 interface. Uh, the PCIe uh, 4.0 interface is being enabled with a third generation uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs, and it allows for double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0 interface. Mm -hmm. But in order, in order for the new motherboards uh, to be able to achieve this kind of uh, speeds, uh, they need a more advanced uh, design that contains new components uh, to ensure the best PCIe 4.0 signal quality, including mm -hmm. PCB, uh, PCI slots, M.2 slots, read drivers, and switches uh, that are specifically designed uh, for this new interface. Uh, also, Gigabyte, in cooperation with AMD, uh, develops PCIe 4.0 uh, graphics cards and the new uh, PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSD, mm -hmm. uh, which was announced at Computex 2019. Okay, so as far as we know, AMD announced the third generation Ryzen 60 CPU. Do X570 motherboard needs any advanced power design to support them? Uh, of course, uh, it's the first time that we see so many cores in the mainstream yes. chipset, uh, and the new motherboards definitely need a more advanced uh, power solution. Uh, this time on the Aorus Extreme, uh, the Aorus Master and the uh, ITX model uh, of our motherboards, uh, we use a power design that we call uh, direct power design. Mm -hmm. Basically, using the latest PWM controller, uh, we're able to have one power stage per phase uh, without any components in between. Uh, that results to a lower uh, voltage ripple, perfect low, uh, load balance, mm -hmm. and a higher power efficiency than before. Although, even on the lower-end motherboards, we don't compromise the power performance. Uh, even our Solid is equipped with 14 phases in total, uh, providing users with the best possible performance. Oh, so, uh, what makes Aorus Thermal Design unique and why this model doesn't have a chipset fan? Alright, so obviously, having the best power design uh, on the Aorus motherboards, we couldn't, uh, they, they couldn't support a cheap uh, cooling solution. Uh, Aorus motherboards are the only motherboards in the market that are equipped with heat sinks that have real fins uh, for a better uh, heat dissipation. Uh, there's also a unique design where the heat pipe uh, touches uh, directly uh, the power stages, again for a better cooling performance. Uh, moreover, uh, Aorus motherboards uh, come with M.2 thermal guards, essentially M.2 heat sinks to prevent throttling and bottlenecks from high speeds uh, of M.2 SSDs. Uh, as for your second question, uh, mm -hmm. X570 chipset produces a lot of heat, but specifically on the Aorus uh, Extreme, 
we use multiple layers of heat sinks uh, on the chipset, so a fan is not necessary, oh. while the temperatures are maintained at the normal level. Are the X570 Marvel equipped with any other major features? Uh, of course, uh, uh, all 6570 motherboards come with several new features, but I believe uh, Wi-Fi 6 is the one that it's most uh, one of the most important ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Wi-Fi 6 enables gigabit wireless performance, uh, provides smooth uh, video streaming, uh, better gaming experience, a few drop connections, uh, and speeds up to 2.4 gigabit PS. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, it is combined with Bluetooth 5. Uh, which provides four times the range over uh, the previous uh, Bluetooth generation. Uh, last but not least, all the X570 or motherboards support the Q++ uh, feature. Mm -hmm. Practically, it's a button on the motherboards which allows users to flash uh, a new BIOS without a CPU, RAM and graphics card. Uh, it's very useful for upgrading to a potentially uh, a new CPU. Combining uh, Q++ with Gigabyte's uh, dual BIOS technology, it's mm -hmm. almost impossible to ever break uh, your motherboard.